was a similar image so they had given you a normal paternal and a maternal chromosome and i think some zones were marked 1 2 and 3 and then you had an image in which one particular zone was absent so this was similar to the fact that the patient is having the presence of a loss of a particular gene on the paternal side and this was particularly mentioned that we are dealing with what kind of a chromosome we are dealing with chromosome number 15 so whenever we are dealing with the deletion of a gene on chromosome 15 you have watched the main videos that is likely to be seen in case of a patient who is going to be suffering from prader willi syndrome so there is a maternal imprinting of the gene over here and if the paternal gene is going to be deleted, then the patient is likely to be having a manifestation. So same thing that we have talked about in the sessions, but the difference is that instead of, you know, directly giving it to you, they gave you this as an example of an image-based question, right? Paternal deletion. So image mein bhi tha, doctor. Okay. Second, tha, the exam ka genetics wala question tha, which was the exam question, which was an example of an inheritance pattern-based question, which was talking about the fact that you are having a patient who was having a disease. And this particular disease is being transmitted. So the lady is going to be having a disease and the disease is being transmitted to the male. Therefore, this is going to be having a situation where it is likely to be, you know, X-linked and particularly X-linked recessive. So you had to first decode the pattern of inheritance. We'll talk about it again in detail. And you were giving certain options. One was an example of an autosomal dominant condition, a chondroplasia. Then we had autosomal recessive condition in the form of Wilson's. Then we had a question which was making a mention of the viscot alter syndrome. So this pattern of inheritance was referring to X-linked recessive. And knowing about that fact that viscot alteration is an example of an X-linked recessive condition. Of course, you had a clinical image-based question 2021. If you recall, a child having a presence of a back rash, recurrent infections. You had a question in which there was a question which was making a mention of recurrent infections, thrombocytopenia, small platelets, bleeding. And the patient was, what is the next subsequent investigation you would like to do? VASP gene study. That was an INI question. So this question was a different question. Topic remained the same. The pattern in which the question was asked in the exam changed over here.